points that place it in the summertime of 2019, late summer, July, August of 2019. These are all parts of the pieces, right? Uh, th th this is all the cumulative weight of the evidence that suggests that it did come from this lab. And a month later, the Institute went into a communications blackout. There was no cell phone or signals activity on the compound for about two weeks. How significant would a, a blackout period at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, as has been reported, how significant would that be? Again, it would be another um, circumstance that would be difficult to explain other than there was a problem that the Chinese Communist Party was aware of and was trying to deal with before, uh, you know, it became an outbreak that was public and then ultimately a pandemic that affected every single person on the planet. Everyone around the world assumed it had come from an animal, but we didn't know what animal. In the early days of the pandemic, Australian scientist Nikolai Petrovsky made an extraordinary discovery. I guess the first surprising result uh, that we found that really stumped us for a while was there was no animal, and that opened, obviously, Pandora's box because then we had to start saying, well, if it didn't come from an animal, where did it come from? And of course, that, that led into, to, I guess, exploration of other possibilities. And, and one of those, of course, was that could this have potentially have come, you know, from a...